Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video I'm going to show you how to activate the subtitles on the videos that you're watching on YouTube. But before we get started, don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below. Okay. I don't know if it has happened to you, but sometimes I do want to watch something and hearing sometimes might be difficult. Why? Because my children are asleep and I want to keep quiet and sometimes my earbuds or my earphones are not nearby. So what I do is just activate the subtitles on the videos and that's one way that you can watch your video and still know what they're talking about, right? But let me tell you that not all of the videos have this specific feature enabled. What does that mean? That not all of the YouTube creators add subtitles to their videos. This is a feature that YouTube creators need to enable so you can really watch it. And you will know if they have different languages or more than one. I'm gonna show it to you on the computer, on the iPad, and also on my phone, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so if you do want to do this on your phone, you just have to go to your YouTube and start uh, watching the videos that you want. In this case, I'm just gonna play this video right here. It's uh, one of my most recent videos, it's, uh, the Polar Winter Festival. Now I'm gonna turn down the volume. As you can see right now, the subtitles is not on. I'm going to tap on the video. There are four icons on the top right corner and there is one square with CC on it. So you will click on that one and it will automatically bring on the subtitles for you. Let me go and show you what happens when you have more than one language in one video. For example, the Amazon gift card for another country. As you can see, it started with the subtitles because I already turned on that feature. When you tap on the video, there is a three dot icon on the top right corner and you can see that captions is in English. So now if you tap on captions, it also has other languages right here. And you can choose to turn it off or to switch to Spanish in this case, because I also have the subtitles in Spanish for this particular video. So I'm just gonna click on Spanish and the subtitles will appear in Spanish. I haven't done my subtitles in Spanish in all of my videos yet, but some of them, the most popular ones, already have the Spanish subtitles as well. So this is the way that you can do it on your phone and it's really easy. In the computer and the iPad, it's almost the same, but I'm just gonna show you anyway how you can do it, okay? Let's go to my iPad so you can see it. Here is my iPad and I'm just gonna go to my YouTube application. What I will do is just and choose one of the videos right here. And I'm going to go to my own videos. And in this case, I'm gonna do the same. For example, let's say I want to see this video. I'm turning the volume down all the way. And then I'm just going to the CC icon right here and it says subtitles turn on here in the corner. Okay, so I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and then I'm going to click on this one right here. And what you have to do is to activate the captions, but in this case it has no captions available because I forgot to activate them. So this video in particular doesn't have any captions. Now if you go to this one right here, it does have subtitles in English, but if you want to change them like I showed you before, there is only captions in English, not in Spanish, okay? If you want to see the subtitles of this video 
in a different language, then you won't be able to do it because I didn't add the subtitles in Spanish. It's pretty similar to do it in iPhone and in iPad. Just the difference is that in iPad, you can see a pop-up message right here in the corner. Now, let me show you how it shows in the computer. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm just gonna go and watch these Think Media video and I'm gonna see if they have captions or not. As you can see here on this video, the captions are already activated and they have them here. It's a very similar button that you can see on the iPhone and also on your iPad. And then you can change the subtitles. And here it says subtitle CC, it says off, you can see them in English. So now in the computer you have some other options. You can actually change the way that the subtitles are shown. I'm gonna stop the video right here and you can actually change the subtitles here and then go to options and you can actually change it to a different font. For example, choose this one and it's a different type of font that you can see your subtitles and then you can also choose cursive or different. I'm just gonna leave it like it was. You can actually change that font color right here to be green, to be blue, to be whatever. It's easier for you to read. You can also change different things like background color, the opacity, the character edge style. You can add a drop shadow and you can see that changes automatically in the subtitles. You can just reset it if you don't want to change any of the options that I just showed you. So if you just want to keep it the way it was, you just reset the changes and there it is. So you do have some other options here on your computer that you can change your subtitles. And uh, you can actually do that kind of same thing on your iPad as well, but you have to go to settings and change some other things. Whereas on your computer, you can directly do it on your website. And just to let you know, I'm using Chrome, so it might work in a different way depending on your browser. I hope you find this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.